Okay, so in this video today, I will be um, running a Atari 7800 emulator on the Windows 10 based uh, operating system. So um, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to this website. And this is the person who created uh, the Pro System Emulator version 1.3. So this is uh, Mr. Greg Stanton um, created this Atari 7800 emulator. And you could play Atari uh, 7800 uh, ROMs with it. You don't need any BIOS to, to uh, run this emulator. It just runs as is. So. Um, you could download it here, just just click on that and save it. You could also go to GitHub and this is the latest version of that emulator. And it's the same uh, file I think. So you could download it there as well. So this is the one that I downloaded from that guy's website I think this is a source code this is not the emulator that you're gonna be running this is source code so if you want to make any changes to this you can but the file that you want is Pro System 1.3 and that is the file which is located here. This is the one that I downloaded. So you gotta go to GitHub's website. Let me make a link to that so you can, uh, and I'll put it in the video descriptions so you could get it. That's the source code, so we don't need the source code because you're not gonna be coding it. Or making modifications to the code. This is just an emulator tutorial video on how you could use the emulator. Um, okay, I go here, extract that. Just copy that there. This is the folder that I'm going to put my Atari 7800 um, emulator in. So I got that. So let me get out of it. Um, so if you want to use a ROM, you can't use it zipped up like this. Zipped ROMs don't work with this emulator. So I'm going to go here and put that in the ROMs folder. And like I said, it can't be zipped or it won't work. I'm going to put a couple in there. if they have Mario no I don't have Mario okay that's enough okay that's enough um, so you could scan the file to see if there's any uh, malicious stuff in there there isn't I think this is a save file to use Okay, no threats. Okay, now I'll run the emulator. I'm not going to run it in full screen mode because when I do that, the sound's going to cut off. So uh, to go to full screen mode, you could just type Control F at the same time and you'll get free uh, full screen mode and to get out it's control F again so that's it 
I'm going to change resolution. I already changed it to 1920 by 1080. That's the maximum resolution for my monitor. You could change this to 3x so it's bigger. So I'm going to change it to 3x. Maybe I'll try 4x. I'll make it bigger so you could see. Go over here and I'm going to open a ROM up. I'll try Galaga. As you can see, it's running without the a BIOS or anything. So. So right now I'm just using the default controls, which is a keyboard. And you can go here and change it to whatever you like. Um, this is the default keyboard layout, so Z and X are for shooting. So in order for you to change the um, keys, you could just you can't type it in. You just have to uh, go in here and do it manually, which is painstaking which is a bit uh, tedious in my opinion so Z and X whoops Z and X okay you could I could select the controller if I want and select that change it to what I want but I'm, I just like using the keyboard for this you could add the BIOS here but it's not necessary if you add the BIOS, you're just going to see the Atari logo. That's the only difference. Uh, you could do frame skipping here, but I don't think it will be necessary for Atari 7800 emulator. Unless you've got a super slow computer. But most modern computers should be able to handle it. You could change the sound setting here. <coughs> this is a pretty good sound setting. So I'm just going to leave it at default. You can change the latency. And like I showed you the resolution as well. And the uh, resolution is under modes. You could reset this just like that. And another thing about the inputs is you have the... On the Atari 7800 you had a buttons on the video game console itself like the reset button which was also in the Nintendo as well and other video game consoles and select um, which was on the video game console but on the Nintendo Entertainment System the select button was on the controller and the, so was the pause button the pause button was start on the NES but on the Atari 7800 the pause button button was on the video game console and you could select the difficulty as well which is F5 and F6 keys so let's start so if I press F okay so F5 so it's F3 actually to change the difficulty Play it advance. Just press Z to start it. Okay, let me try another ROM. Let's try uh, Commando. Right now it's on novice. I could press F3 standard and then press Z to start. I think.
think this version of Commando is uh, okay. It's not as good as the NES version. And one of the things uh, I liked about the Atari 7800 was that you could uh, adjust the difficulty setting, which wasn't possible to do for most other video game consoles at the time. <laughs> Died, damn it. All the ROMs don't work on this, but most of the ROMs do work. Good thing about it. F2 is the restart button. So F4 is the pause button, as you can see. F2 is the reset button. I move that mouse cursor out of the way. the base. Ugh. Okay, that's enough. So, that's how you run the ROMs and you saw how I configured the controls and everything. And you could add the BIOS here if you want. Press escape to go here again to see the menu and press escape to get rid of the menu. I'm just going to exit out of here. So that's how you run the Pro System 1.3 uh, Atari 7800 emulator. And uh, Basically, that's it. So, thanks for watching by East 1000KS 1975 signing out.